Hello lads and welcome to this. Now today I am bringing you my Fleetwood Town monthly review. Now before I get on with this, over the weekend a very bad event happen happened. Now the Leicester City Chairman, who was an absolute legend in Leicester, who donated like a million to the university, gave fans free beer, free scarf, free bacon butties on the way games, sadly passed away in a horrible, horrible accident outside Leicester's ground on Saturday evening. Now my thoughts and my thoughts and love are with everyone involved in the accident and with Leicester City at this very sad time. I am gutted to hear it and I'm gutted to hear about Glenn Hoddle and the Brighton fan who died on Saturday. It wasn't a good day, so my thoughts and condolences are with them people at this very sad time. Now on to the review. Now we started this month against Wickham Wanderers at home. Now Wickham at this time, I think they only won one game in the first 10 games. We're at home, realistically we should win. Um, Paddy Madden scored a great goal um, just before half time. Here's his goal now. Yeah, a very well taken goal for Paddy there. Um, great header into the corner, past the keeper. Second half they came out really well. Akin Fenwell was their player for everyone. They, they evolved their team around and he scored a great goal. Uh, nice little ball into the top corner just after the half time. And that game ended 1-1. Probably disappointing not to, uh, in the end, not to get anything more out of the game. But it was a point, a point, and that was Wickham Wanderers at home. Second, we travelled to an informed Doncaster Rovers side. We beat them 4-0, right? First one was a great penalty by Chev. Second one was a great header by James Wallace. Third one was a great goal by Ashley Easton. And fourth one was a great goal by Hunter. Great team performance, great grit. Doncaster probably deserved something out of the game, but it was a win away from home. Another freak result. I don't know how it was 4 0. What a win. Here was all the goals from that day. Jerry Martin. Away, Ashley don't like the most to finish. Uh, Walls was a great header, you can hear me go 2 0. Um, Easton, another solid header, and Shed got lucky with the penalty, but it settles on our way to another three points. Game after, uh, we lost to Rochdale on the track of trade. Um, anyway, not too bothered about that competition. 2 0, uh, good Rochdale performance there. 15 year old played really well. Um, Luke Madison, I thought he was brilliant. And um, then the game after, we played Shrewsbury at home on the 13th of October. And um, we, we scored two really good quality goals. First of all, Madden, another great ball in by Ashley Hunter, who is now on 12 assists for the season. That man is on fire. And then another great goal by Wes Burns. Madden setting it up this time. Ma Burns sets it off, gives it Madden. Madden does well with the ball, pass it on to Wes Burns, and Wes Burns pops it in the net. Shrewsbury did pull a goal back. Um, I don't know how, uh, poor defending really, uh, we should have got a third and then they came on to us in the last few minutes and Cairns made a world class save, here's the goal from Shrewsbury at home, let me see what you think of them goals. to move up to the table and get the second home win um, first one against Bradford at home on the 1st of September then we went to an informed Porter side, very good at home um, well they're not the best at home but they're solid uh, they draw a lot of games there they beat us 1-0 for a great Ollie Hawkins header um, if you give him time and space in this league he will hurt you and it was a great performance from Porter that day uh, we didn't have a shot on target, game to move on from, 
I've learned a lot of things about this team that day. So, like Barton says, we win or we learn. And we learned a lot of things that day. Then we go to an informed Peterborough side um, who hadn't been the greatest at home. We haven't won at home since the 80s of August. And they beat us 1-0 again, a corner header around about the 50th minute. That game, I thought we deserved a point out. We made some great chances. Chris Long made a great impact when he came on off the bench. Wes Burns had a great effort just wide. Ashland tried to make things happen, just couldn't quite get it going. I uh, thought Kyle Dempsey was superb. Um, so again, two games, we lost two 1 0s twice. Four out of the five losses now have been 1 0. Then we move on to Blackpool at home. Now I'm still memorised by this. Wes Burns, what a goal. Dribbles around his defenders. You should see this goal. Watch this goal and tell me what you think of this. It was superb. Your mum's a crack or your dad's a quiz. We fucking hate the tangerine. Yeah, that was Wes Burns' goal. Now Ross Wallace, like we won the lot. Corner comes in, Louis Coyd as well to shield the Blackpool player off. Wasn't a foul whatsoever. What Wallace, boom, one, two nil. Have a look at this beautiful goal. Keeper maybe should have done better, but it was so powerful it ripped the back of that net. <laughs> Thompson, poor defending at the back post. Ash lost his man, unfortunately. But that time I thought, oh, here we go, 2-2. Two, two. Not again. Then that we kept fighting, probably deserved a third. Defended really well. We got it. Hunter, great ball in. Madden, top corner. Boom. What a goal from Paddy Madden. He's special. Scored six goals already. And Ash has created five of them. And he won the penalty for the sixth one. So... We've got great goal scorers. Here's Madden's goal. Ninety seconds later, we give a goal away through Nathan Delfonso. Um, he's quite experienced at this level. He'll score goals. He's done it in the Championship, League Two, and League One now. So he's a danger man. Then we kept, we, they kept plugging along, really. I didn't feel any danger of them getting back in it, apart from a few shots that we blocked really well. Um, we defended well. Then they got a play sent off. Armand Nunyale, who actually, after the game, set off, ripped the defibrillator off the wall, which I thought was a bit childish and pathetic, really. Some people could actually need that after the game, if anything bad happens. But we finally beat our local rival, Blackpool. It was a great win. So I want to check vlog out, link will be in the description like all the other vlogs will be. Um, so good month uh, with some good wins against Doncaster, Shrewsbury and Blackpool. Um, two defeats in Portsmouth and Peterborough uh, and Rochdale really, so three defeats and a draw. So not bad, again a bit inconsistent, I'd like to see us kick on now. We've got Gillingham on Saturday and then it's the FA Cup. I hope you have enjoyed the video, come here 30 likes on this video. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Road to 3,000 subscribers. Thank you. Peace out. Go on the cards.